Hi, my name is John Gibbons and I'm a sports osteopath. And what I'm going to demonstrate today using Nick Jones, who's an osteopath that works in the clinic. He has an issue with his right side, um, cervical spine or shoulder. So what we're going to do is look at the trapezius and the levator scapula to start with. If I was to side bend his patient this way, then he feels okay. So if I side bend my patient that way, he feels like it pulls within this sort of area in here. So that might tell me the trapezius is particularly tight. In terms of range of motion, ideally we should be able to get to about 45 degrees with no real resistance. On this side, he comes in quite quick and I can feel it binding and he's aware of the tension point here. If I test the levator scapulae, which comes from C1 to 4, onto the superior angle, if I were to take his neck halfway and bring his chin down, he feels it pulling on this right side here. Would you agree? Yeah? I do, yes. Whereas when I were taking this side, he has good range of motion, so the left of eight scapulae is okay, but I do feel maybe the right side is involved in his symptoms. Remember, there are many, many, many causes of why you might get pain here. If you think it's trapezius and levator, maybe treat it accordingly, and then after the treatment, then retest. To, to treat from here, we can do many techniques. Let me just show you a very simple one. What we can do, first of all, is if I rotate his head and bring his chin down, because you've got the weight of the head, Slowly push your head back into my hand. So the patient is activating the levator on this side. After 10 seconds, take a breath in, and then slowly bringing the head forward, we, we, we can encourage lengthening of that right levator scapulae. And I can stabilize the shoulder as we do that. And we can repeat that two or three times, and on the third time, try to hold it for about 25 seconds. If you want to do trapezius, then you can, if you want to, of the cervical spine, slowly push your head to the right, please. So here's side bending to the right or side shifting, activating the trapezius. After 10 seconds, relax. I can swap sides, stabilize, breathe in. And as he breathes out, I can slowly side bend in this way, lengthening the right trapezius. Remember, scalenes, SCM, um, levator will be involved as well. So again, we can actually lengthen it this way. For some patients, they might not like that. Have a line in your back, please. So we face up. So this is a supine position. I'm going to sit in the saddle seat here. So what we're going to do is press, come back a little bit, just a little bit. It's nice to have the face whole because that will give you a space in here. And then we have a choice. We can either side bend in, hand either side of it here, not on the face, and then hand onto the shoulder to stabilize. So what we can do from here is either place bind using the hand or place bind using the C-spine, okay? Or both. Let's use the shoulder. I'm going to slowly depress the shoulder. Take a breath in, please. Slowly push up on against my hand, so elevate the shoulder. So he is shrugging his right shoulder. If that was uncomfortable, I could say to him, bring your right ear to the right shoulder. So he can activate the trapezius that way. It's a choice. Or we can actually utilize both. You can elevate, breathe in. You can actually push up on your shoulder and side bend the neck a little bit. From there, relax, take a breath. On the out breath, three choices. Breathe out, breathe out. I can either slowly depress the shoulder, I can either side bend the neck, or I can depress the shoulder whilst side bending. Be careful, it's a very powerful technique. If I said to my patient, push up please, for 10 seconds, I will do it less time for the demonstration. Take a breath in, your right hand, as you breathe out, reach towards your knee, slowly, slowly. So as he's reaching, he's using lower trapezius. Activating the lower trapezius will automatically switch off the upper trapezius through an inhibition. Relax, please. To do the levator, from there, again, you have a choice. We can put, push the head back from there into your hands, or you can literally just slowly push your head back into the couch. After the 10 seconds, what I tend to do with this one is take a breath in. I tend to flex the head, rotate, I cradle under, hand to stabilize the shoulder, and I apply a little bit of flexion with the side bend in rotation here to lengthen the right levator. It doesn't seem to be as effective if you don't stabilize the shoulders in trying to retract it. From here, slowly push your head back into my hands, for 10, for nine, for eight. Let's say that's 10 seconds. Relax, please, take a small breath in, and as he breathes out, chin to chest to lengthen the right levator. If this was the third time, I would more likely hold him for 25 seconds.
so the body tries to remember the new position. For further information, you can look at my website, www.johngibbonsbodymaster.co.uk. And thank you for watching.